Oh, fiery Bowser. I love fiery Bowser. Alright, can I do this on the first try? Oh, I can! Look at that. Consequently, you can also just do this. Just do a spin attack and you'll light it too. Of course, I never feel safe doing that because I'm always afraid of getting blown up when I do that. So just be wary when trying that method. Alright. Yeah, so we've basically come full circle now, but now we can actually move on a little bit here. Is there anything over this way? Oh, there is, and I want it, but... Can't cross there yet. Not quite yet, my friends. Oh my god! Wow! Dude, these chews are kicking my ass. Look, they've almost taken a full heart away from me. Oh, they might take a full heart away from me. Yeah, if you want, you can actually parry these chews like this. It's really, it's a, like a cool-looking move, but... I don't know, sometimes it's just not practical. Oh, we got a heart, though. How lovely. That chew loved me. No! Whoa! Dude, you tried to ambush me. But now who's ambushing who? Look at that. Did you see the way Link sliced him? He sliced him in the butt. And then, but, like, he sliced upwards. It was so weird. I don't know, maybe that's just my mind tricking me. But it looked, like, really dainty or something. Alright, where's that weapon that he had? Because I need a weapon. Oh, here it is. The Boko Stick. I think that's what they're called in this game. I called it a Deku stick earlier in one of my earlier videos, but I'm pretty sure it's a Boko stick. Alright, here we go. <laughs> oh, you can see Link turning his head. He's like, well, I want to see what that switch did, too. Jeez. Oh, we're outside. What the hell? Man. Oh, look at that bright sun. Jeez. I wonder, can I, like... Um, oh, okay. I thought you might be able to, like, fall off there and actually fall back down to the mainland. But I guess they weren't that cruel, because if you did that and they, it actually, like, took you all the way back down to the main area, you would probably, it would probably be bad. Dude, what did I just do that for? I get, oh, oh my god, what? <laughs> wow, well, that's what I get for cutting the ropes of the bridge. Jeez. Yeah. One of my favorite things to do here is, it's, it's really hard to pull off, but if you can get, like, a... Oh! Dude, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Oh, each fall only takes off a quarter heart. I took, I thought it took off a full heart for each fall, so I was kind of scared there. All right? What? Dude, I'm trying to, I'm trying to show off this really cool technique, but I'm, I'm screwing it up. You know, maybe if I parry him, that'll end up better. Let's just wait. See if we can parry this guy and get around him. Oh, oh, I guess not. Alright, well, this is just stupid now, so I guess I'll just try and move on. Basically, what I'm trying to do is, like, you try and get around the backside of this guy, like that, but he has to get on the bridge. Get on the bridge. Alright, fine, I'll just kill you. But you can actually get him on the bridge and, like, then slice the bridge and he just falls to his death. It's kind of funny, and I wish I could have shown it, but, alas, I suck too much. And I love how you can just see, like, the blades of wind slicing through the air. Uh-oh, we got a Kargorok on our hands now. Ah! I think these are, like, descendants of that bird that stole our sister. Because that one is called the Mighty Helmorok King, and these are Kargoroks. They have that whole rock thing going on, going on for them. Alright, why did I do that? <laughs> I was trying to, like, destroy that, like, fire hole here. And, and it's just like, here, take a rock. <laughs> I hope that blows you up. Alright, so just wait patiently here. Eyes darting back and forth. Man, that looks really cool. That little texture there. I love it, man. Love this whole volcano aspect. See, like, the, the dungeons in this game are a lot more aesthetically presentable than the ones in Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. Like, those ones, they did look good. But I think they were more about the puzzles than the, than what it looks like. And a lot of people will say that that's better, but I don't know. I do like how they made it so these dungeons look pretty, even if they are, like, really easy. Alright. Wow, that was the most precarious bomb placement I've ever seen. Hmm. Alright, oh, this room. Oh my god, we got a nine-block puzzle here. I think there's actually stuff behind it, if you can manage to get behind it. I'm gonna check that out really quick. Oh, yeah, look at this. There's a crawl space here. 
Probably just rupees in here, though. Yeah, look at this. Rupees, rupees galore. Man, 21 rupees in that passage alone. Oh my god, 22 rupees. 32 rupees? Oh my god, it's a Christmas miracle. Or is it a Halloween miracle? It's not really Halloween yet, though. It's still September. Alright, let me just come out on this little hole that's just a little bit above the ground. Man, that makes me wonder if there's anything else, like, behind this on different layers of this whole little puzzle thing. I'm gonna check that out really quick. Like, maybe there's something behind this, this block, too? Who knows? Like, I know my wallet's full and the rupees don't really do anything for me, but I figure I might as well show it off if you're, if you're, like, following along and having trouble keeping up with the rupees. This might help you a little bit. Yeah, but there are rupees in here. Look at this. So you can probably get, like, close to 50 rupees in this, in these two little crawl spaces alone. That's kind of awesome. That's like a quarter of your, of your wallet right there, so... Take what you can get, you know? Yeah. And then climb the giant stone monument. I'm making a monument to you, and then I'm killing you. Alright, all these freaking rats. Wait, what? Dude, I had a spiky A there for a second. Oh, here we go. Is Tetra calling me? Argon, have you seen any filthy thieving rats around? I know they are annoying, but keep your wits about you. They're only rats! If you spread bait near their nest, they may share their store of treasure with you. Why don't you try it? Well, I guess I could, just to show it off. Alright, for a minute I was- I- Oh, crap, no, don't steal my rupees! Look at that, oh my god. <laughs> you stupid rats. That's what they do, they hit you and they, like, jack you of all your rupees. Like, I- like, you saw that I collected all the rupees that I got- that got knocked out of me there, and I still- like, my wallet is still nine rupees short here. Alright, let's see. Delicious! Hey, I got something real good I'll sell you for- I'll sell for you, for real! What'll it be for you? Red potion, blue potion, or nothing? Uh, I'll pick up a red potion. Oh, sure, why not? I got rupees to spare here, so who cares? It's not really worth your while at this point to pick up a blue potion because you don't have any magic power yet. Bring me more sometime. More! Oh, well, sorry. Okay, fine. I probably won't take advantage of that any other time in the game. There's really not, not many other times where you can do that in the game. Like, buy stuff from the rats. I'll see if I can find other times, though. Alright, so what I think you want to do here is throw this right across. And there you go, that just lights that open. When I first played the game, I was so young and stupid. And I didn't, that like, I had that simple puzzle, the puzzle for idiots, bamboozled me so much. Like, I was, sit I was sitting here literally for about ten minutes trying to figure out what to do before I finally got it. And by that point, all my rupees had been stolen by the stupid rats. Because not only will they knock the rupees out of you, but often they'll, like, come back and take the rupees away, so you can't collect them. It's really stupid. Yeah, but there's our compass. Man, I've gotten both the dungeon map and the compass in this dungeon, and I never made any explicit note of either of them. How very unprofessional of me. Though by this point, I, I assume you know what a compass and dungeon map do. If you don't, well... I'm not even sure what to say to you if you don't. Oh, we came out the other side of the island. Look at this. Just going back and forth and up and down and side to side. Turn around, look it down, up, down, we're downtown. That's not how that song goes. I'm crazy. Wait, what? Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> oh! I'm not surprised by, like, the fact that I got the small key, but... Dude, I swear that... Cargrock's face was totally elongated there for a second. That was the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, look at the heart. Uh, is she gonna fall down? Uh, oh, hold on a second, guys. Crap. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Oh, uh, what was I talking about before I left? I feel like I was talking about REO Speedwagon, but I know that's not right. Wow, all of a sudden it's pitch black in here. Man, I'm pitch black and covered in soot. Oh. Well, we better light a torch to help us see our way here. Because I'm sure this will end up even darker on the video, because, like, in the game on my TV right now, I can actually still kind of see what's going on here. Like, I can see the layout of the room. But, of course, on videos, this always, it always ends up darker for some reason. I don't know why. Joy Pendant, I'm calling it. Yeah, man. Ooh, and it's scary, too, because it's, like, shaded. <laughs> it's this weird lighting. It's, like, halfway lit and halfway darkened. 
Alright, man, these bats are getting on my last nerve. These keys, I mean. I'm gonna try to name every single enemy in this game by their proper name, just because I'm really perfectionistic like that. Dude, I'm almost dead. I better collect some of these hearts that the enemies are dropping. Dude, stop jumping around it! Oh my god. <laughs> jumping around your heart. Mm. That's what I've been doing lately, definitely. To this one girl, but no, shut up. I talked about that enough of that stream last night. Don't need to be talking about it more in this video. Jeez. Alright. Um, let's see here. I have a feeling we're almost done with the with this dungeon, but I always feel that way before I... And then I realize, oh crap, we still have a lot more to go. I mean, we still haven't even gotten the dungeon item, so how can we be almost done? I didn't know you could get that bomb on top of that. Alright, I guess I should explain this now. We saw a pot like this earlier, at like the very beginning of the dungeon, but it had green smoke coming out of it. If you actually go in these pots, you'll warp to the other pots in the dungeon. And I think in total, in every dungeon, there's going to be three of these pots. There's this green one at the beginning, then there's the blue intermediate one, and at the very end, there's a, a red one. And you can just warp from, like, pot one here to pot two to pot three. If you go into, like, the first pot without opening up the second pot, then you won't go anywhere, obviously. It'll just pop right back out. Mm. So just be careful of that. Alright, crap. D dude! That was stupid. You know what, I'm, I should just be thankful I didn't land on that ledge that I almost landed on. Because if I had, I would have had a lot of backtracking to do, I'm sure. Is this the same room that was like, uh, that we were in before? I think it is. Oh yeah, it definitely is. I, re I recognize this column anywhere. Hmm. It looks a lot more different from up here, though. Cool. So I guess we're nearing the top of this place, finally? Wow! The did you see how much that bridge fluctuated for- wait a second. I swear to god I just saw a rock fall from up there. I don't know. My eyes have been playing a lot of tricks on me lately, both in real life and in games. It's kinda weird. Alright. Oh, I love this room! I, lo I don't know why I love it. It's just like... It adds to the whole realism of the area, like, did the Ritos come here and do meetings and stuff, and this is where they had concerts or things? Because there's this whole stage area over here, and there's like a table and bleachers. It's kind of fun. That's one of the best things about this game, is just how realistic it is. <laughs> like, I was just sitting in a pot, and he didn't even notice when I broke the pot open from around him. Man, these guys had stand no chance to me when I'm this powerful, and they're dropping joy pendants like it's no tomorrow. Seriously, I've never seen them drop this many, like, within the span of this li this little time. There's another guy. I think you have to kill all the enemies in the room to move on. Dude, where are their Boko sticks disappearing to? Because I actually need one if I want to get something in this room. But every time I kill one, it seems like... Oh, here they are. There's two Boko sticks over here. <laughs> and I'm just freaking out, like, where are their Boko sticks? They're just sitting on the beat benches over there. And I'm standing here looking like a dumbass. Oh, I'll never get tired of that treasure chest appearing animation. It's fun. It's really ghostly and like crystalline. Oh, but what's this? This is interesting. This is a treasure chart! Oh, yeah. Once you're at sea, open your treasure. Yes. Blah, 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 blah. Go to that area and rely on this chart to guide you to the spot. Then you can, tr you then you can get the treasure. But how do we get the treasure? I don't know how yet. Oh, I landed on the ladder. I didn't expect that to work. Alright, here. I think there's, like, a little bit more over here. Like, there might be a joy pendant in a pot somewhere over here. I think it's in this pot, actually. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's Boko sticks here if you couldn't find the other ones. Like, I couldn't for a little bit there. Jeez, I'm so stupid sometimes. Oh crap, we got a magtail to deal with here. And this magtail, he's actually like one of the most str strategically placed enemies in the whole game, pretty much. Alright, you want to do that, and then you kind of want to pick him up and take him over here before you start fighting him. Because if you try to fight him on that little platform out there, you're just going to either fall off and get your butt burned, or you're going to knock him into the lava and he won't die. That's literally every time that's what happens, I can guarantee it. Sometimes you might get lucky or something, but... Most of the time, you just screw yourself. And then... Kablamo. 
Jeez, the, did you see the camera there? It was all gyrating. That's scary. Alright, oh, is this the room I think it is? Yeah, look at that, there's the boss door over there. With a very scary looking lock on it. We'll see that more when we actually get up there. And I think that this room actually contains the third and final warp pot, too, so... Let's see. I think it's under here. Watch it go BOOM! Yeah, there it is. Oh, sure enough. Amongst all the human skulls. <laughs> That's a little disturbing. Like, did all those people die trying to go into the warp pot? Must be something dangerous going on there. Hmm. Oh. Did we activate a cutscene here? I don't remember this. 